So tomorrow, the country will celebrate the holiday. As you can see, these front page headlines from today's papers all note how Martin Luther King Jr.'s message is still relevant today. And to mark the holiday, we dug through the archives here at NBC News to bring images and interviews you don't always see. One we aired years ago after the passing of Dick Gregory. Here's Gregory's telling a joke to the crowd about his sentence of 180 days for his social activism. King was in the audience. Sammy Davis Jr. was there too. And as I have expressed to Dr. King, the reason I'm not going to do my 180 days because uh, I can't see them giving me 180 days and only giving him five and he started it. <laughs> Well, that was great. And then there was his close friend, Reverend Ralph Abernathy, describing the early days and what made King so successful. And we agreed that he would not only be the president of the Montgomery Improvement Association, but he would be the spokesman of our movement for justice and equality. And we would let him do all the of the speaking, did it in a magnificent and wonderful fashion. And he was so dedicated and gentle and kind with it. Well, from King's life to his legacy decades later, a march in Southfield, Michigan in 2015, hundreds of marches like this one, they take part each year. And after this particular march, Aretha Franklin offered this reflection. I think that we have come a very, very long way uh, in terms of respect for each other. <laughs> Seriously, uh, uh, and understanding each other and where we're really coming from, where people are really coming from, good people. Well, speaking of good people, joining me now, Reverend Al Sharpton, president of the National Action Network and host of MSNBC's Politics Nation and my good friend. So, Rev. You know, sometimes you look at our archives and it feels a, kind of like a photo album, right? So when you look at these old pictures of people that you still love, you remember uh, not just their work and their legacy, but their personality, their humanity, in Dick Gregory's case, the humor. What kind of person was Reverend King? I mean, I only saw Reverend King twice, but I was very close uh, with his uh, son, who's here in Washington with us uh, as we prepare for the breakfast in the morning that we do every year in the honor of his father. And I got through his son to know his wife very well. And they say he was a very uh, uh, playful person in private. He liked to play with his kids. He was very sensitive. And he was a real committed preacher. 